This is bad. Very bad. They've come again, and I'm terrible at fighting. <laughs> Urgh. I'm sorry. Usually there's a door here that leads to heaven. But apparently it's not working right now. Do you see the monoliths with emblems of heaven over there? They connect this place to heaven. Normally they shine gracefully, but they seem to be drained now. Poor things. I know what's causing it. The monolith's energy supplies have been shut down. Vile demons are behind this. So the only option is to face them head on and drive them off. With this scythe of mine. Come, necrophage. <laughs> Um, are you awake? It seems demons have infiltrated this land again. Which means it's meal time? What? Time to go get them. I'd rather not have to do this. Erg. Uh... My age is catching up to me. My legs are completely worn out. Completely worn out. It's been a while since I've walked this much. Let me rest a bit. Are you gonna are you gonna make me do it? Ah, it's no use. I can't go any farther today. This isn't good. I need to take care of those demons. Ah. Would you possibly <laughs> Go handle them in my place. Help an old man. No. You're right. It was cruel to make you choose. You can no longer go home. You have no choice but to follow my orders. The only other thing you can do is wander around this area for all eternity. Oh, it isn't very nice to put it like that, is it? Of course, I won't let you go alone. Take my scythe with you, I'm sure he'll aid you greatly. Uh, he seems to have taken a liking to you, yes indeed. His name is Necrophage, you may call him Necro for short. The monolith's energy supplies are in different places. It may take some time, but please drive the demons away. It's all up to you. Okay, can you talk? No? But you have a mouth. Oh, the music's getting louder. Uh... Hey. That rosary you have. The goddess- I can't- hold on. The goddess gave it to you, right? It does have the power to repulse demons, but it's not enough for the enemies ahead. However, Necro's with you. If you work together, no demon will be able to stand in your way. Unfortunately, he's rather lazy. It takes a while for him to get moving. He's picked up my bad habits. Well... Oh. Uh, um... It's a... Reaper thing, but it's Egyptian. Well... Um... Wasn't this in a Legend of Zelda game? Alright. I don't like these things.
Whoa. they killed him, he didn't have a crazy animation thing. So there's one over here. Are you gonna show up again? Why do you close your eyes? What does that mean? Sorry. I don't... What am I... What? What am I... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I pause the... So, whoa. Yeah? Oh. <gasps> what? Yes. Your eyes are gone. Alright, one more to go. The monoliths are starting to return to normal. We're so close, I'll be praying that your battle continues to go well. Still, you're a brave boy facing down demons like that when you're still so young. I see why you caught the goddess's eye. Don't repeat Adolf's mistake. Adolf, that's the guy that... No, wait. Adolf was one of the friends that died. I thought he was the wolf monster that I killed. There's still that guy that got the armor. He didn't say his name, I think. Red eyes. Now what? the back door to heaven. I'm sorry, I'm just bad at dealing with demons. Whenever I see them, my legs give out. Now let's get going. To heaven's back door. What? What? Lighted. Why did he go? Zam Zamza? Are you betraying me? We finally made it. Speaking of which, you tried to get off the train and go through Heaven's Gate, right? That was the front entrance. 
sinners can't pass through that. And this is the rear entrance. It's called that because we reapers use it. Reapers are shunned in heaven. But this back door will allow anyone through. It's a lovely door. Now go and pass on to the land of happiness. I give you my permission. Zamza? What's the matter? I see. You're just that overjoyed to be able to go to heaven. Haha. <laughs> Go Goddess? Um, I finally managed to kill you. Reaper Zomza, you're not... That's not a good sign. Oh, I'm so sorry. Was he a friend of yours? Oh, that was just terrible of me. But those who disturb the order of things must receive punishment. Though I am grateful to him for saving you from hell. We almost lost you. Our hope for the future. Where do you think you're going? I can't let you go to heaven. Does that mean you belong in hell? My gracious, no. Those who hold the Holy Grail are destined for another place. You want to see your mother, don't you? Then let us return. To the place where you belong. I can... my inventory isn't here. Are my eyes red? It's my body. Starry Cape. Here lies Holy Warrior Adolf. Something's written in tiny letters beneath it. I departed to the world of void. It had no light, sound, or anything. It was horrible. But once I let go, I found peace. Huh?
There's a cave painting, I wonder how old it is. It looks like a knight on a horse and a weird creature are fighting. Oh, you! Ariman. What? I missed? Cool. <laughs> Long time no see, Squirt. It's me, Ariman. You know, the one from hell. Speaking of which, how the heck did you escape? I gotta get you back to where you belong. Did you seriously think you'd manage to escape? Too bad. Hellhounds can sniff out anything. Well... <laughs> Are you the... The holy warrior guy that stole the black armor? <laughs> you thought you could get rid of me with a rosary like that? You underestimate me. I'll tear you to shreds and carry your remains back. Uh? Uh? You just don't get it, do you? Struggling is useless. Playtime's over. What? Are you... going home. Wait, that box isn't... Lured into the dark forest, trapped by a reaper and cast into hell, saved by the goddess and transformed into a prodigy. Prodigy. <laughs> That's quite the story. Oh my, I'm impressed that you managed to spot me. I suppose you're no mere human anymore. Still, I wonder how you made it this far. You even got your body back. And this is a cross-shaped monument. It was made in honor of all the people who throw themselves from the cliff. Unfortunately, it has only succeeded in drawing more people here. Uh, nonetheless, it's an appropriate place for you to meet your death once again, don't you think? If only you hadn't come along, this story would have ended peacefully. It really is unfortunate. And you were about to set forth into your wonderful second chance at life, too. I feel like I'm ending a newborn baby's life. It truly makes my skin crawl. But I just can't stop myself. It seems it will be a long time before I'm released from this nature of mine. And yet, you've become so very brave. The events of a single night have caused you to grow so much. I like that look in your eyes. Don't just stand there, kid. Oh. Now then, shall we kill each other? Yellow?
beautiful. The light of the rosary is truly sublime. But that alone will not defeat me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I do not intend to hold back. If you can't defend yourself, you're through. Or do you prefer to let yourself be killed? Should I? Wait, what was that? Uh... Oh god. What... What amazing power! I can feel my body weakening! The fear of death is gripping me. Whoa! It seems the gods have blessed you. Glorious! Whoa. What? I can no longer consider you a mere human. Uh, uh, I can hear it. The beat of your heart reverberating through your body. If you misuse that power, it will consume you. Which of us will fall first, you or I? I'm not quite sure anymore. Uh... What? What? Ugh, oh, that was bad. There must be more limits on who gets cast into hell. <laughs> Only truly evil people should be subjected to that kind of pain, don't you think? What is accomplished by inflicting such pain and agony? The mass of human resentment is taking form and bearing its fangs. Huh. Oh! I oh, yeah. I messed up. I didn't think it would end like that. No, your eyes are red. Were they always like that? Whoa! Bird face. Nicely done. Incidentally, are you good at spot the difference games? Um. together, aren't we? What? I desire to save you, and yet I long to kill you. There's nothing worse than your subconscious rebelling against you. Shut, shut up. Shut the heck up. All you do is blather on, I've had enough. I'll crush you and the kid, here and now. What? You're talking to yourself now? Hates the moon. Ugh. It's you, you're back? What? Huh? Okay, I'm not even a person anymore. Ow! My ears. Um... Ah, uh, my consciousness is fading. Is this the end for me? What? Oh no, I killed your good side. Now you're just... Hey, give the guy a break, would ya? The poor guy's having a really rough time. He's a reaper, and yet nothing's more important to him than making humans happy. That kind of guy. It's like a lion who refuses to eat meat. Utterly hopeless. So I've got to make him remember. 
what meat tastes like. You monster! What is this? come to use my Reaper Scythe, but struggle as I might, I doubt I can beat you. And so I will summon him. It may anger the goddess, but that does not concern me. We Reapers never allow a sinner to evade us. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. <laughs> The Archdemon of Demise is coming. What? Um... Run? Run? You! You're the guy from the... The... Uh, Azathoth. Or something like that. Oh. What are you doing? Re huh? Huh? Um. Hey there, brother. Is this the first time we've met? How does it feel to take in the power of the Holy Grail? Does it feel good, or does it hurt? I know exactly how you feel. I once drunk from the Holy Grail the same as you. That's why we're brothers. Fighting demons until the day we die. A pair of despondent brothers. I threw in the towel long before you, though. But this opponent's just too much. Isn't that right, brother? That cursed reaper. He summoned an abomination, didn't he? We can't win. We may have the power of the Grail, but we're only human. And we can't escape either. <gasps> we'll never break free, not until we die. Why are your eyes moving? No. No, please. But... Um... You're stopping the cutscene? What? Um... It's the same. Over and over and over. We continue to stand back up until we die. We're nothing but pawns. We're disposable pawns, brother. <laughs> the bell rings. And we fight again. We keep battling until we die. Like inflatable punching bags. Nah, I don't understand. <laughs> I... Can I do this? Nah. What? Was I supposed to click that? Guy? I mean, brother? Uh, I'm sure you're pulling an awful face right now. I don't want to see it. I can't look. The help isn't coming. It was the same for me. You'll just toy around with you until you draw your last breath. <laughs> what? Can I... Nah. What are you reading? What should I say to you, my brother? I... What? No, give it back, please. Why? <laughs> what? Oh my god, your face. 
It's excruciating. Horrific. But the goddess won't come to help you ever again. She makes you drink from the Holy Grail and that's the end. <gasps> She'll never appear again. It was the same for me. That goddess isn't merciful at all. All she needs are pawns to keep fighting the demons back. Salvation's just a flimsy excuse she uses to justify it. Huh. Wait, so she's not possessed? Words are worthless. Nothing I can say would help. What is that? Oh, hey, it's my friends. I mean, my... moms? Oh, God. Brother, do you believe in miracles? I don't. There are people like us who only ever draw the short end of the stick. Uh, Death will come soon. Can I? Oh, yeah. Come on. What? Your face is gone. Let's go to a tranquil world without sadness or joy or anything. Wait, what? No. Um. Wait, what happened to me? I... Oh, I still have eyes, I think. Um... Kura, you're here for me. What? Uh. Um. <laughs> Gora? Uh. What? What? Oh. Oh my gosh, what?
Wait, I'm not doing it. Gura! Gura is helping me. Wow. Oh no. What? Gura? Um. What? Huh? <gasps> Gura, you've grown. <laughs> what the heck are you? <laughs> what? We're flying. What? What? Was he the real? Oh. I mean, they did say that this guy had a weakness, right? We did it, Gora. You're such a good- did any of this actually happen? Is this just a fever dream? What? Oh no, please wait a moment. Please do not be so wary. I won't do anything, I promise. Thank you. I did something dreadful, didn't I? I caused a lot of trouble for you as well. After summoning him again, I... Oh, you want to go home, don't you? To where you once were? I apologize, I'm always so selfish. I know you would never forgive me. It's so easy to spew apologies. Putting those sentiments into action is what's genuinely hard. The other me, the reaper side of me, suddenly burst free. I thought I had managed to prevail over it recently, but... When I recall that debacle from just a moment ago, I know I still have a long way to go. I think abandoning my reaper instincts is the way to atone for what I did to you. And, if you, who has received the power of the Grail, ever find yourself fighting against demons again, I would like to help you. That is all. For now it seems that is the only thing I can do to make amends. I intend to continue watching over lost souls within that old castle. Please come see me anytime if you have any troubles. Uh, oh yes, that's right. Let us be on our way. I'm sure you are also anxious to return home. I shall guide you. Please excuse us. By the way, it seems your friend is waiting for you, just farther ahead. Are you that dragon's friend? I've witnessed yet another mystery. With him, it may be possible to survey distant worlds. Surveying the world from up in the sky, even a gemstone couldn't be more beautiful than that. Now, 
Let us go, Sir Astaroth. Um. Oh. My friend Gura. Wait, can I go back? What happens? Nope. <laughs> Alright. Gura? Wait. Gura's a dragon. Dragons represent the devil in certain mythologies. Um. But this one's a cute dragon, so maybe it's fine. Are you fine, Gura? What? Is Gura Satan? Uh. What? Wait, what about the goddess?
Hi. The end. Um. Uh. So, Gura wasn't real. <gasps> hey. Hey. Con congla congratulations. congratulations, your holy warrior rank was A. An astonishing achievement, reflective of awesome reflexes, audacity, and accuracy. Huh? You drove back many demons within the castle. It appears the goddess recorded the results of each and every encounter. But why would she do such a thing? She is truly an enigma. Truly an astounding accomplishment. Yes, yes. Well then, I will now go to watch over the boy who has returned to his mother. When demons present themselves to him again, and when he finds himself teetering on the brink of despair, I would like to be there for him. I will have to dispose of this Reaper facade by then. What? One day, surely I too will reach those heights. And become one overflowing with love. Like the noble Zamza. Why did he die though? Who in the world killed him? And where? It is truly difficult to believe. This rage is the one thing I will continue to carry with me. Until the day when I cut down the villain who killed Sansa with my own hands. Now then, I wish upon you a good life filled with joy. O oh, esteemed player. May you avoid the blackened path that will lead you down to me. <gasps> Wait. Wait. I got an A rank? What does that... What does that mean? Was that the best? I feel like I messed up a bunch. Thank you for playing. What?